uh, for Illinois ran in less than four minutes. So it, it kind of gives you an example of the kind of analytical prowess that NetEase possesses. Moving on to slide 10. Now how is NetEase simpler and why is it simpler? Okay, so in a typical data warehouse implementation, uh, this this is like a this is like a flowchart in any you know architect's mind uh, before they implement uh, business analytics. Uh, so th these are the various decisions that that someone would have to make, and these are the some of them are you know some of the complex activities like, for example, configuring a RAID, creating logical volumes, creating you know table partitions, creating physical logs, blah blah blah. It's, it's, it's a whole host of activities that, that one would have to do uh, if, if they have to, uh, you know, kind of establish uh, business analytics hub in their, in their shop. Now with Netiza, the only activities that, that one would need to do is the ones that you see in green in the next slide. So once the Netiza appliance is deployed, the only things that, that the user uh, or, or, or the firm that's buying NetEase has to do is these four boxes that you see in green. Determine data distribution, we'll talk about that in a little while. Create your tables, schemas, whatever. Load data into your schema and make sure you're updating statistics uh, every once in a while so that you know uh, your access plans are up to date and stuff like that. So these are the only four activities that you need to do post deployment of NetEase. So there's another slide that shows why NetEase is simple. So in a typical uh, Oracle, let's say if, uh, an Oracle fact table, so the amount of DDL that gets that that has to be written to create one Oracle fact table and and make it work uh, with reasonable performance is humongous, right? You need to create the fact table, you need to create indexes, bitmap indexes, probably create table clusters, partitions, and whatnot. But with NetEase, the only DDL or the data definition language, the only DDL you would be writing is the create table statement. There are no indexes. There is no physical tuning or administration required. You can stripe data randomly or by columns. So the only thing that's important when you're creating your you know, large fact table is how you distribute your data. You'll see that small clause at the bottom of your screen which says distribute on random in bright red. It's been highlighted in red because it kind of uh, is the most important decision that you as an Ateza appliance user uh, have to make. <clears throat> Moving to the next slide. <clears throat> so the next slide basically shows uh, all the different DDLs that you would have to write with Oracle. You'll have to create an uh, enormous number of partitions. You'll have to create you know, DDLs for indexes, bitmap indexes, and whatnot. So DDLs that, uh, DDLs that are generally about you know, 34 MB in Oracle translate to around 250 kilobytes of DDL in Ateza. So, so that's, that's the you know, kind of reduction in effort you, guess, you, you get at similar or much better performance when you're, when you're moving from Oracle to NetEase. So some of the ramifications of the simplicity that NetEase offers. So let's say you have a telecom CDR fact table with 6 billion rows. The number of objects you'll have to create an Oracle to make this work properly is around 1,010. This includes all your table partitions, index partitions, data files, blah, 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 and everything else. But NetEase, the object count is exactly one, and that is the fact table itself. So as you, as, as you can visualize, you, you're saving weeks and months of DBA effort, tuning effort, you know, trying to get this right. All you need to do is a table, and I, I'm sure anybody you know, in, a, in, a, in a decent shop can, 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 can create a table and distribute it correctly. So, uh, similarly, we have a comparison with Teradata, which also uh, kind of highlights the uh, the simplicity that Netiza has to offer. So, 
to ramp up on Teradata, one would typically need nine weeks of uh, training. But with Netiza, you're almost good to go. I mean, uh, your your learning curve is is, is 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 very smooth, and it's just about three three thousand odd pages of basic documentation that you need to read before you before you can call yourself, uh, you know, an, a, a Netiza user. Okay, I'm moving on to the next slide. I'm going to take questions in the end because uh, I have around 40th 